And that dysfunctional thinking can lead to a certain behavior that in the long run you probably wouldn't like, such as binge eating or walking away from your dream job or from the relationship that you were looking for. Hello, my name is Elmira Strange and I'm a motivational psychologist and certified life coach. Welcome to my channel where we are discussing all the things related to self-development, psychology, counseling and therapy. So let's talk about negative thinking and how we can change it by using one simple technique, which is one of the main techniques in CBT in cognitive behavioral therapy, which is called reframing or in other words, cognitive restructuring. So if you're familiar with cognitive behavioral therapy, you know this is all about how our thoughts and emotions cause certain behavior in us. And that by addressing our emotions and thoughts, we can change our behavior. You might not realize how powerful it really is. Basically, you can change your behavior for the next week, month, half a year or a year just by changing the way you think from day to day and if you can master your thoughts and subsequent emotions because thoughts cause emotions even though there is a debate about what's causing what but normally you think a thought and that leads you to a certain emotion you might feel really good or you might feel not so good depending on what you thought and that will lead to a certain behavior whether it will help you in the long run or it won't and it will make your life difficult or even it can make you to abandon certain hobbies, certain choices, interests and we'll talk about it here. So let's talk about cognitive restructuring or reframing. What is it? Let's take some example. Say for example you're following a certain diet and you've been doing it so good for the most of the week. For example, six days of the week you were following it uh, say plant-based diet or paleo diet or carnivore diet, <laughs> whatever, whatever you follow at the moment. You were doing really good, but at weekend somebody called you to some cafe or restaurant and you thought, why not? Why not have something that I really, really want? I deserved it. I've been doing good. I've been doing well for the whole, uh, for the previous week. So I deserved it. So you have that pasta or bread or cookie or muffin or whatever it is you deprived yourself all the time. You had it and it started binging period, which means for the next week or two weeks, you cannot stop from going and having something that it's supposed to be an unforbidden thing on your list, right? So what goes through your mind when you started that binging period? It could be two things. One thing, which is a typical one, which would be, ah, what's the point? What's the point to follow this diet? What's the point to try hard? I always fail every time I'm coming back to the same place. No matter what I do, it never really works. It works for a short period of time until some, somebody offers me something. How many times I try to give up this, this food or sugar or drink or whatever. It never really works. I always come back to it. I don't know what to do. I'm not only frustrated, I am so ready to give up. I am like about to give up. I guess sounds familiar because it's familiar to many of us. Say you decided not to go with this thought and decided to restructure it, reframe it by thinking something completely different. For example, I've been doing so well. This is a temporary setback. Okay, I have one meal. Okay, I have two meals or a couple of days. It's fine. It's all temporary. I can go back on track. I've been doing really well. I could see my results. I was getting better and better. This bound to happen. It's natural. Many people have these setbacks. The main thing that will continue forward as soon as I'm ready. Okay, I'm not ready today. I am ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow is a new day. Let's start tomorrow. So as you can see, you can talk to yourself either way, whether it's a discouraging way or whether it's an encouraging way that will push you forward. So basically that's what restructuring reframing is. This can be applied to so many situations in our life. For example, if you are applying for a job and you're not get getting anywhere, that can be very discouraging. Or you're trying dating apps and nobody really replies to you and nothing really comes out of it. And also this can be really discouraging and you're ready to give up, you're ready to walk away from either that pursuing that job or the relationship or whatever that is. 
it happens to most if not all of us and the point is as cbt teaches us to catch the thought as early as you can and reframe it into a more constructive positive sentence or phrase that will help you to move forward i know it's very easy to talk about it when you're not in that situation and when you are in the situation where you're frustrated beyond belief and trust me i've been there i know what i'm talking about it's very difficult to think positive thought it's very difficult to be encouraging to myself sometimes it takes another person to tell us something that will encourage us to continue doing what we wanted to do for example today I had my Spanish class and to be honest I thought that I don't have much time for Spanish because I'm quite obsessive if I want to learn something I'll be learning it a lot and I know I have a lot of work to do including making new YouTube videos uh, new writing a new course and interacting with my students via social media via Instagram via Facebook as I do and I was at the verge of actually giving up on my Spanish classes because of that because I felt like I don't have time when I had a lesson with my Spanish teacher, he was so encouraging in my progress, about my progress, that that was enough for me to reframe my thinking to the point where I felt that actually I'm doing pretty good. I am not ready to give up. I will continue learning, even if it means I'll be spending less time on learning Spanish and doing more work as I was planning. So sometimes it's really helpful when you actually share with somebody what it is on your mind, your situation that you are about to give up on. And somebody else can help you to reframe your thinking into a more positive and encouraging one, which will help you in the long run. You might have walked away today from something that you were pursuing or with a positive reframing, whether by yourself or with somebody else, you might continue what you wanted to do for so long that a year later you might achieve what you really wanted to do. So it's a matter of addressing our cognition, addressing our thoughts. So thank you for watching my video. If you found that you like it, please do like it. Or please add your comments on how you try to restructure your thoughts and how successful you were with this reframing technique. What do you do? In which situations? What comes to your mind? Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.